Stevenson's rocket, winner of the Rainhill Trials 150 years ago, completed its first journey for more than 100 years. Stevenson's rocket, winner of the Rainhill Trials 150 years ago, arrived almost on schedule at the Merseyside County Museum in Liverpool. Rocket's journey on the back of a lorry began yesterday at the Science Museum in London. It'll be the centrepiece of the Rainhill Trials exhibition at the museum until October. Richard Duckinfield reports. Rocket arrived encased in a protective tent on the back of a 16-ton flatbed lorry. The journey from London was made at a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour, the very pace the rocket set on the Liverpool-Manchester railway, although experts were quick to point out that George and Robert Stevenson's creation was capable of 30 miles an hour flat out. It pioneered the world's first passenger railway and was the cause of the railway's first fatality when the MP William Huskisson stepped carelessly onto the track. Rocket has been in the Science Museum since 1862 after spending its last working days as a colliery loco. For the journey, it was insured for £50,000, quite a sum for what one onlooker described as three tonnes of scrap iron and four brass plates. Much smaller than most people expected, Rocket became more familiar when the distinctive chimney was fitted, an operation achieved with the kind of modern contrivances the Stevensons never dreamt of. It's expected to be seen by thousands of visitors to the museum during the Rainhill Trials anniversary celebrations next month. And there was one man who wouldn't let the rocket out of his sight, the man in charge of the rail transport gallery at the Science Museum, Tony Hall Patch. Was there ever any doubt about the Science Museum letting the very valuable rocket go to Liverpool? I don't think there was any serious doubt about it, but uh, it was left to me to make the final decision, really. The director, of course, approved it, but it's my responsibility. Were you satisfied then that it could stand the journey? It was a calculated risk, without many facts to calculate it on, but it seemed very reasonable to expect that it would be all right. And we took every possible care with it, of course. What would be the weak points, the things likely to sustain some damage? The wheels, the front wheels, because they're wood, they're old and shrunk, and who knows what the condition of timber is when it's that old. But obviously it's sustained no damage at all so far. No, we didn't take the weight on the wheels. As you can see, it's blocked up under the axles, and it appears to have travelled very well indeed. How original is the rocket as we see it now? It's very difficult to be absolutely certain, but it is... What we do know is what is not original, and that is the smoke box in the front and the buffer plank, which is certainly not original, but it is probable that the rest of it, other than the rear wheels, is original. The rear wheels are newish because they're smaller than the originals to allow the cylinders to come down to this more familiar angle. Would it have been completely out of the question to get it back into steam and operating again? Completely. There is no inside to the boiler. But mechanically, it would be impossible. From a museum point of view, it would be ridiculous because you would merely destroy it and build a new one. Will you breathe a sigh of relief when you get it back to the Science Museum again? I suppose uh, I wouldn't look at it that way. <laughs> I was asked whether we'd take hostages to ensure we got it back. <laughs> it didn't prove to be necessary. I don't know. I haven't got it back yet. <laughs> Unpacked and reassembled, Rocket was manoeuvred out of the museum's backyard to make its public debut in Liverpool, a puzzling sight for the few who hadn't heard of the visit. It was hailed with some justification as a homecoming, and on the steps of the museum, a civic reception fit for a VIP, the culmination of months of negotiations and planning that brought the Rocket back to the northwest. Stevenson's Rocket. Will Liverpudgeons let it go back, we ask?